but this is gonna be one long video. <laughs> In 2022, I tested a lot of period products. In this video, I'm gonna rank them from the one that worked the best for me to the one that worked the worst. And out of this entire bunch of products, I have to say, there wasn't really a loser in the whole bunch. Uh, even the one that I thought was a gimmick actually still kind of worked for me. So stick around and find out which one that was. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Kim Rosas. I run periodnirvana.com, which is an educational resource to help you succeed with menstrual cups and discs. Our biggest resource is the quiz. You can take that to find which cup or disc is going to be the right fit for you. I also run a retail store, period.shop. If you live in the US, you can shop there and support the free educational work I provide. It is a curated selection. So all of the stuff I've been trying this year, sometimes it's because I wanna make sure it's a good fit for the store. It was definitely the year of the disc. So in no particular order, I'm gonna share which ones I tried with you this year and then start the ranking. Salt Disc, Diva Disc, Hello Disc Final Version, Four Moons the Disc, Flex Disc, Coral Cone Cup, The Lucy Cup, The Luniao, also known as The Law Cup, Kind Cup, and Faya Cup. Here is how I'm ranking all of these products. Comfort, leaks, insertion, removal, staying in place, all of those things that you know encompass the facets of using a period product and how it works for you, those are the things that went into my rankings. It was like a really surprising list whether or not I personally am happy with the outcome. So, so best to worst. You'll never guess, you will never guess. Okay, you're gonna guess. This Hello Disc. <laughs> it is, without exaggeration, the best period product I've ever used, not just in 2022, but like, Ever. I helped design this product, so it should work amazingly for me, but here is why it was the top based on my rubric. It never leaks. Like it never ever leaks. It is 100% reliable when I put it in. I know when I leave the house, no matter what I have, whether I am going to a concert, which I have done wearing the disc, you know, going for walks, exploring, sightseeing, laying on the couch and watching Netflix all day, going to the bathroom, which is big for me, and I'll talk about that later. It stays in place. It does auto dump when I want it to. It's never dumped when I didn't want it to. It always stays tucked. So, uh, and even when I auto dump, it goes back into place without having to readjust it. Sleeping, fine. I can use it for mess free period sex if I want. Insertion is easy for me. It is a firmer rim. It goes in. Uh, I usually wear it flipped like that. And so, removal. Clearly, this is where this disc shines above any other menstrual disc brand. It's just so, so, so stupidly easy to remove without making a mess and without having to dig, and without having to do anything special. You just kind of reach in, grab it, and it dumps, and it dumps away from my fingers. Now, if I've auto-dumped right before removing, yes, I will get a little tiny bit of blood on the tip of my finger. I've not had any hard or messy removals with Hello Disc. And, you know, there are a lot of discs on this list and on the greater list uh, that I could rank that work as well for me in terms of all the other things, uh, you know, fit, comfort, leak, not leaking, uh, insertion even, uh, as high as Hello Disc, but you know, it really comes down to removals and nothing has yet been as easy or as mess free as Hello Disc. You know, the one drawback I'll say, and I will be like upfront because I've now used it during different cycles throughout 2022, the final blue version. This disc does stain for some worse than others. So this is my disc. I would love a darker version. So hopefully that is coming in 2023. Other than the staining, which is like purely aesthetic, everything else about it is literally perfect. I get so excited because I'm just like thrilled that everything I wanted in a disc now exists and I can use it. And so that's why it is my number one. Number two is, you might find this actually very surprising because I did, the Flex Reusable Disc. Discs work really well for me. So when it just comes down to how things worked, it's number two. There are a lot of similarities in some of the features to this product in just use, you know, day-to-day -day use to Hello Disc. It is about the same diameter, a little bigger. It is a little bit firmer, but not so much that it's causing any discomfort. What I do like is it has that insertion notch. So even though inserting other discs has never been an issue for me, for some it has been. So that's really nice that it kind of gets super narrow. I think where and why this kind of ranks at number two as we go down the list, and if you think about all the different discs I tried, you can start doing the math. Um, it has a really, really flexible basket, but a super firm rim. 
And while FlexDisc is by no means anywhere close to being as easy or mess-free to remove as Hello Disk, when it compared to some of the other discs I tried this year, including like a notch style disc, it has enough definition between the basket and this rim that didn't matter that it didn't have a notch to remove. Um, and it didn't matter if it rotated because it doesn't matter. Um, it's the same all the way around. You're gonna remove it the same way. It was easy to get this rim, even though it was messier and more involved, than something like a notch style disc because those would tend to rotate and we'll talk about that as we go forward during the list. And it did still auto dump for me even though it's firmer than Hello Disc, I could still manage to get it to auto dump but it went back into place. So functionally it did not leak. It was completely comfortable, I never noticed it. Insertion was easy, all of those things like put it really high on the list. I don't know how long some of you have followed me, but the fact that Flex is number two on a list is as surprising to me as it might be to you. It's just not a brand that I feel very warm and fuzzy about. But when I go back to my list of what mattered most to me, it is number two. Coming in at a shockingly high number is the Coral Cone Zip Tie Cup. I am not including the zip tie and how it ranked because I didn't get to use the zip tie. It was just too long for me. So this is purely coming at it from, was this a good cup or period product, right? Out of all the discs and cups, was it a really good cup for me? And it was, it didn't leak, it was comfortable. It stayed in place for me. It was easy to insert. I really loved this base design with the pinches here. Just looking at it before I tried it, I didn't think I was gonna like this cup even a little. I thought that these screw ribs on the base were gonna be prominent and I might feel them. I didn't. It was the perfect firmness for me. It inserted pretty easily and um, stemless without the stem because I took it entirely off. Perfect length. So I had a completely comfortable leak-free experience with this cup and my comfortable leak-free experiences with cups are very rare uh, in the last few years compared to discs because my body has changed and cups just don't always fit me as well. And the fact that this was like 100% good of an experience for me was shocking to me. So I really underestimated this. I have reviewed it. This is the packaging. They don't actually have like printed packaging I can show you. It is like really high quality. It is made in New Zealand. The silicone is just really nice to the touch. And I guess the bonus of this is that I really love the color. It's like a dark blue, but then the contrasting zip tie, which I will never ever use, but it's there. Number four on the list is for Moonsa Disc. This one was a really fun one to review and a really fun one to unbox. It is a Taiwanese brand, and I now think that they refer to this as their regular. This product is a full-length review, which I will be posting soon. But for now, let's just talk about the features. It is an oval disc, a little bit larger than Hello Disc, just to reference like my top product. What I think is the differentiating feature of this product is that it has one, two, three inset notches around the rim. So when you think about notch style discs, uh, the notch is meant to be there for you to remove it, but oftentimes it can rotate, meaning that you have no notch. That was, this was their solution to that. So I'll start with the positives because it is, you know, kind of moving down the list here. It was, again, as a disc, totally leak free, completely comfortable, I couldn't feel it, 100% reliable. When I was reviewing the Formunsa, I experienced a pretty serious flare that weekend. The Formunsa really stood up to this test. Now let's talk about the things that are not uh, amazing about the Formunsa. When it came to removal, these notches, uh, they, they were there, but this little lip here is so small. I did more digging to try to utilize this feature than if I had just pinched the rim. And I really wanted to kind of figure out a way to make it work and be a notch and make removal easier, but it wasn't. Um, it didn't give me good leverage to pull it over the pubic bone. And this little pull loop that cr gets created when you engage it and pull, um, there's just not enough for me to be able to make that a loop, if that makes sense. Maybe if I had a real fingernail, that would have helped. But I ended up really spending a lot of time removing this disc. Even though this worked as well as Flex, it's ranked much lower, but it is cute. So cute. Kind of right smack in the middle here is the salt disc. This is actually the first product that I tried in 2022. So it came in January, it was a brand new product. I was 
one of the first to receive it and put it to use almost immediately. And I do have a full review of that, of course, so you can watch the full review if you want. The breakdown of why it's right in the middle is that uh, even though it was comfortable and leak-free, which most discs are for me, especially round ones, we're sensing a trend, it was a little harder for me to insert the notch kept getting kind of stuck on things. It made it a little harder to insert. Removal. Uh, removal was a challenge. Uh, you know, the disc did rotate sometimes and the design of this disc and why I pointed out the flex, you know, being simpler but maybe easier to remove is that it sort of slopes and there's more, more stuff there. And so it really is kind of hard to grab it if the notch is not in position. Even when the notch is in position, it was, like it can be easy sometimes, and it was, but then sometimes it wasn't. Uh, you know, I didn't have the leverage that I needed and it didn't make it as simple uh, to remove as just kind of pinching it, like a different kind of non-notch style disc would be to pinch it. I wouldn't say it's a gimmick because I definitely know that it works for people. The notch makes it easier to remove. Um, but you know, it has to be a perfect storm of things. And for me, that perfect storm wasn't hitting. So, you know, I was frustrated at removal. It was messier. It was actually, I looked back through all of my videos and vlogs and, and footage I took during my periods to kind of make this list and remind myself what worked and what didn't. And this was like, one of my messiest discs to remove. I saw a picture and I was like, that was like a lot. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it was a lot, a lot on my hands. And so insertion, removal, not as great as some of the other discs, but functionally comfort, leak proof. It still worked great. I just wouldn't pick it over a lot of the other discs that I've talked about so far. Continually amazed at some of the products that are making it this high up on the list. And that is no exception for number six. This is the Lucy cup. It was a Kickstarter cup that I backed and I backed it because it was funky and weird. And you know I love a good novelty cup. The novelty of this cup is that it has this weird flappy thing at the top that is meant to prevent backflow and leaks and spills. They do a video demo where they're shaking essentially and things aren't coming out of the top because everything stays once it goes past the flap. So it goes in but it doesn't come back out. Do we need this? No, of course not. Shockingly, it did exceptionally well for me. <laughs> not anything to do with this flap. I want you to know the flap could be cut out. I could really just cut these little things out. I wouldn't because that would be not a good idea. But when it came to the actual cup, the firmness, the diameter, how it worked, no complaints. Worked perfectly fine. It was really not fun to clean, but if I'm going by my own standards for this list, which I'm like, ugh, should I have changed my standards? Cause this list is so freaking surprising. Um, the cup worked totally great. And so it gets a number six. I did trim the stem off cause it was too long for me. I never felt anything. I didn't feel any pressure. Um, I, I did like pee a little slower and with firmer cups that is what happens for me. Uh, but it also meant that it stayed in place really well, which is the thing that doesn't happen all the time with cups. They tend to slip down during wear for me because my pelvic floor is not amazing. So it really needs a good diameter and a good firmness for me to have like a really great experience with a cup. And shockingly, I had it. You know, I was really looking to see if this thing was gonna leak because a clot caught in it and it wouldn't go down. This flap is really flimsy, so it doesn't take much for any liquid, even just water, to go through it. A big clot might have been blocked because it also has these things, but I didn't pass a big enough clot to really give it that test, so I can only speak to how it worked for me during that period. It's not a brand I would ever recommend, and there are a lot of reasons for that, and they go way beyond anything on this list, mainly that the company seems like super scammy. It took forever to get the product. They've run two different Kickstarters, but you can't find it for sale anywhere else. I don't even think they have a working website. Like, it's just not a company that I would suggest anyone buy from. There's no service, there's no support. They lie to your face that it shipped. They have only sold through Kickstarter. That feels like a red flag. So I bought this almost to make fun of it, and it is still a ridiculous design, but functionally, it's number six for me out of all the things I tried in 2022.
Coming in at number seven is the Diva Disc. The things that make this a really cool disc are the things that made it not work for me. The fact that it's an oval, it just did not fit me as well. It is soft and I think even the leak proof shield, which is a cool feature, all of those things combined ended up leading to leaks and also it was so soft that it kept slipping out of place for me. So comfort wise, you know, when something is lower in your vaginal canal, not only does that mean it might be leaking soon, but also it means that it's not comfortable. You can start to feel it and you know like, oh, I need to go fix that. When I'm thinking of the most reliable products that I know when I leave the house, everything is amazing. Unfortunately, the Diva Disc was not it. And it also had one of the most catastrophic events of my year testing products, which was that the entire thing slipped out of place, dumped, big mess, and that's all in my review. There's so many cool features about it, and I don't want to knock on this disc because I think it's something that can work for a lot of people. The best part of it is that it has a removal loop. It's a different take on the removal loop than the Hello Disc. It can only be worn the one way, but when it, I mean, it does work really great, and it has the right leverage for me that when I remove it, it removes super easy and without mess. So that removal part is better than other discs on this list that were ranked higher, but as far as experience, that wasn't the leak-free comfortable experience that I wanted. So it is number seven. This is another one on the list that I wish were a lot higher. That is Kind Cup. Ah, I know, I love Kind Cup. It's actually one of my top five favorite brands and it's kind of like with Diva. Some of the features of Kind Cup that make it great for someone else, and I'll be the first to recommend a Kind Cup to someone who it works for, are things that for my body just did not end up being amazing. It's uh, not a super firm cup, and the rim is the same firmness as the body of the cup. I had leaks with it. It did slide down uh, more than other cups that are firmer. And so d despite every trick I could muster to try to make it not leak, angles, um, pushing against the vaginal wall, making sure it's open, it was always open. It was like a mystery. And what that was what was so frustrating about trying it all over again was that you know, it was leaking for reasons I couldn't quite pinpoint, but it was leaking. And so, you know, it was leaking. Kind is a brand that if I could rig the list or if I would rig the list, I would have rigged it. Really didn't like putting Kind at number eight, but experience wise, it's a number eight cup for me or number eight product for me. Coming in at number nine, we're almost through it. This is a long video. This is the Lunial cup. It's sold in the US as the La cup. And I tried it because it was a cup that I was considering bringing to the store. And actually, I'm not saying I'm not gonna bring it to the store because it has like so many features that I love. And in fact, on paper, I thought this cup was a total no-brainer, gonna work for me cup. I was so confident. I looked at it and all the things about it were things that Kim would love. It has no stem. Kim doesn't like stems. It has this cool pinchy bottom grip, which I've liked in other cups. It is crystal clear. I didn't even know until I touched it how much of an achievement this is because not only is it crystal clear, but it's not tacky. I hate tacky, cheap feeling cups. Um, Luma Disc, which is one of my top discs of all time, um, is tacky and I don't love that about it. It feels cheap, but this, somehow is clear, shiny, and not tacky. Amazing. It is much softer than it looks. The size large, the biggest, they have three sizes that I tried, it would not open. Like it just would not open. And I know every trick in the book, I'm pushing against the vaginal wall, I'm pumping it, I'm pushing, I'm doing different folds. It ain't opening. And if it doesn't open, it's gonna leak. And guess what? I continued on with it and it was leaking. And then I was like, okay, cool. That sucks. So I tried the middle size of the three sizes. So I stepped down to the middle range. The big was too big, while the middle was too small. So, you know, you would think the small, small of the three would be the smallest and the middle would be just right, but no, it was too small. And so since it's not a firm cup, it was too small and not firm and it just rode down. It was like, I constantly had to go back and push it up. Functionally, the middle size worked. It caught everything, it didn't leak because it was open, but it was just like traveling slowly down. So every time I went to pee or go to the bathroom, I had to push it back up, you know, do all the hand washing that goes into before and after pushing something up. I was just really frustrated. Ultimately, it was just too soft and too small and there was not a size that really worked for me. 
But on paper, boy, do I love this cup. <laughs> I still might add it to the store. I just haven't had time. But I, I mean, it's cool. I don't know how long it will look crystal clear. I did see that it kind of clouds up over time from other people who've used it. And there might be a trick to unclouding it. That's purely an aesthetic thing. These are like really tiny suction holes and I struggled to get it out. And the trick I do where I fill it with water and squeeze did not clean those holes. I actually had to uh, bend them underneath the water and hold it under the water and that was a better option for this design So if I never get around to filming a full review that should suffice number 10 I can't show you because it's on the Christmas tree number 10 is the Faya cup and It is a triangle cup and I can't take it off the tree because it's way too high up on the garland I made a I made a minstrel cup Christmas tree. It's ranked number 10 because out of all of them it is caused me the most pain or really was the only one that caused any pain actually. So starting with getting it, you can't get it in the US. It's only sold in the EU and um, I have my ways. Hilariously, this cup came in like a box this big. It was like two feet long and like this deep for this. So that was not the best first impression. And I ordered it purely because it was like a novelty. I love novelty cups. They're so fun to me. And uh, I'm always trying to figure out, is it a gimmick or is it like a really cool thing no one's ever thought of? And like this design is gonna solve every problem. Like so far, I don't feel like any of the gimmick cups have solved every problem with their wacky designs. Um, sometimes they strike it out and it doesn't work at all. Sometimes they really, you know, work regardless of the weird choices. Sometimes it's somewhere in the middle. Uh, this is somewhere in the middle, but it actually worked for me. It fit, it didn't leak. The length was the issue, it was too long. And so that bottom piece of the triangle rubbed me the wrong way. I couldn't sit. I couldn't walk. By the end of the night, I had already gone to the bathroom in public and had to deal with it because it was just killing me, but I didn't have anything else. So I put it right back in, hope for the best. I was walking to the car and it was just <sighs> trying to rub all of it raw. I was, I was the, whatever hangry is, but because your vagina has been rubbed raw, that is the, the, the mood I was experiencing. I only tried this cup for like one day or a day and a half, but it was just a no because it's too long, but it did work. It didn't leak. It's a funny looking cup that rubbed my vagina raw. Started with Hello Disc at number one, ended with Faya Cup at number 10. Lots of brands in between, probably some surprises based on my rubric on how I rated these. There are reviews for most of the ones I tried. You can go back and watch them. I tried to watch a lot of my video footage so that I was accurately representing things that happened and, you know, because you can misremember things um, better or worse. So I really was trying to make this as fair as possible, but obviously this is all subjective to my own experience, my own recollection and my own notes. Thanks so much for watching. That's it. I hope I can edit that down. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for your support in 2022. We've had a really amazing year at period.shop. The launch of Hello Disc was beyond my wildest dreams. It's been incredible. Thank you so much for being here.